Mr. Chepok and uh, well, an MS finished it off well uh, for KKR. I'm talking about Mitch Stark. Uh, he was brilliant today. He set that tone, which is why he is our Omni Gel Spray performer of the day. He ensured that there was no pain for fans. Uh, three overs, 14 runs, and two wickets with 11 dots. We've spoken about him in the mid-match, but it's not enough because he set that tone for them. That 114 that they had to get was because of what Stark did. For me, he's the player of the match. I don't know who IPL is going to give it to. For me, he's the player of the match. And to be fair, the player of the playoffs too. In both the games, he got the big wickets. And it's the most important, they, uh, you know, there's uh, obviously saying that a job well begun is half done. And uh, that's exactly what he's done for KKR on both occasions. Similar template. You know, starting the starting the first over gets a wicket, and you know that just gets the team buzzing. Bowls a great spell in both the power plays, and then the rest of it, the team follows through with the confidence and momentum that they get. He's been outstanding. Again, a massive lesson for young boys. It really is okay sometimes to fail at the start or through the middle. It's about how you finish, mm. and that Mitchell Stark has shown how it needs to be done. Just the belief you need to because. When you're constantly seeing other performers in different games, you tend to beat down yourself a lot more than you should. Just to stay, just to stay afloat, still focus on what you need to be doing and be happy for others through that journey will eventually take you to a place where you can fire when it matters the most because the belief will be the most then. And that is what Mitchell Stark has done. Dooley, 24.75 crores. Yeah. Do you see them retaining him? Do you see them maybe putting him back out, trying to get him back cheaper? Or, but the way he's performed in the playoffs, what does one do? Yeah, it's a tough one because in a mega auction, you're probably not going to get that absolute high price player. So they might be able to buy him back cheaply or cheaper, maybe 18, 19. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's got, he would go anywhere near under that. But in that mega auction, because every team is trying to buy a little smarter, you tend not to be able to spend quite as much. Uh, I don't know. I mean, who do they retain? And how many retentions are they allowed as far as overseas are concerned? Because they've always just locked in Russell and Narayan mm -hmm. as their overseas retentions. They've been locked. Uh, it's a tough one to break into. So I don't, I don't know. Until we know how many they're allowed, uh, and what they can do, uh, I guess that's uh, you know that's a that's a question that they're going to have to answer at mm -hmm. the at the auction. But um, you know he was simply superb today, and and you always want best on best matchups. Abhishek Sharma, Stark first up. Uh, you, you know you put the opposition under pressure. It just sort of gave me horrible memories of the MCG in 2015 <laughs> when he ripped Brendan McCullum's yes. bowls out of the ground. You know those sorts of things mm -hmm. when Mitch Stark gets it right. He's such a pleasure to watch and um, he was... He and was this brilliant. is something that uh, BCCI need to look at. Because if he gets retained, he's getting nowhere close to the price that he's gone for. Correct. Mm. If he comes into the mega auction, he's definitely not going for the price that he's got. So I'm sure there are a lot of people around him who would probably tell, if you go back in the mini auction, you'll probably earn the same amount of money. Uh, not same, much more than if you go in the major auction. Mm. Now, how does BCCI find a way to not allow players to use it as a loophole is something that they really need to decide. It is a, a, it is a tough one, but one that is worth talking about. Because let's take, and I made a video about this for Crick Buzz a few months ago when the mini auction happened. Let's take, for example, a Boomra. Now, Boomra is uh, probably half the price of uh, a lot of the players have gone for. And uh, what is he thinking? And how do the dynamics of that mm. change? And it is a, it's always a very, uh, it's a strange one, one that only can happen in IPL because of the auction system, but one that has been uh, a bit of a loophole for a lot of the player agents to use, uh, where they kind of encourage the players, don't worry about the major auction, mm -hmm. wait a year, you might end up getting a lot more than you would there. So how do they kind of find the balance is, uh, is, a, is a tough one for BCCI. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, how a player like Jasprit Bumrah doesn't yes. get what Mitch Stark earns is, is just astounds me. Mm -hmm. He is the best white ball bowler in the world, hands down, and how he doesn't get the same sort of money as a, as a Mitch Stark is, is something beyond me. So I don't know whether there's room for a player cap, particularly from an international point yes. of view, whether there's a, a cap that needs to be put on it, and then it comes down to, uh, you know, if, if, if you played for that side originally and they're willing to bid up to the high cap, that's your team. Mm. If they're not willing to bid up to the high cap, then it goes to the next highest bidder or the, or the next team. Uh, th th there's got to be some sort of way forward, but you don't want the money to get out of it because mm. the, the purse is going to increase as well. Yes. Remember, in the next couple of years, the purse increases even more. Um, so you, you, it's got to be some room, I think, for a 
a cap of some sort and you have to find a way to reward those that are kept a hold of mm. because they're so valuable. Like a, a Mumbai never going to let yes. Boomer go. He is so valuable, but le- yeah, he is earning less mm. than the top overseas player, which doesn't to me seem right because he's at the yes. that, at the very very top end of of skill sets. Well, if there was the Mitch Stark ball, which was the ball of the tournament, there was also Boomer's ball to Sunil Nara, and yeah. which was just <laughs> there with what Mitch Stark did. But uh, like I said, Mitch Stark gave all the KKR fans lots to smile about. He set that tone, which uh, got KKR the third title, which is why Mitch Stark was our Omni Gel Spray Performer of the Day. He ensured that there was no pain for the fans. Uh,